Thanks for stopping by. This is Dan Bell of Bell Certified. I'd like to just take a moment to describe uh, how to answer um, week eight of the priority law assignment. Uh, I'm going to use question six here just to give you a few examples. This last week we were talking about uh, shield dates. Uh, this week we'll be talking about sword dates. Um, in this example, question six, we, na we have a non-provisional original filing um, here in this example. And it has invalidating language for claims one through three for some unknown um, uh, patent. Uh, but for our purposes, we know that uh, this uh, this uh, non-provisional uh, uh, original application uh, was filed on two, uh, two thousand in two thousand one on January 9th. We know that it uh, published the second line as we've looked at the data structures it stands for the date it was published published on uh, August 4th, 2002, and it issued on uh, March 3rd, I'm sorry, March 9th, 2003. Uh, these dates are year, month, day. And it, and it contains the language required to invalidate some fictitious claims one through three. And uh, that's what this data structure means here. And so as we know under 102B, uh, for a reference to act as a sword to kill another uh, to kill a patent, it has to be under 102A, for example, it has to be accessible before the invention date of the um, fictitious claim. And so in this case, um, the, access, the earliest accessibility under 102A would be the date this published. So 2002, August 4, 2002. So down here for claim one, you would put August, you'd put this number, uh, and then that's how you enter the data, 2002-08-04 and that would uh, demonstrate that you know uh, what the uh, sword date is for this 901 reference with respect to the invalidating language uh, claim one that uh, exists in the 901. Uh, with respect to claim two, this means the claims one through three uh, invalidating language is contained in the 901. So that is the same accessibility date here. That would be, you'd put the number in here, 2002-0804, same thing. Um, and then in this example, the earliest um, US filing date, um, this doesn't claim to run any earlier application. So 2001-0109 would be the 102E dates for all three claims uh, that you're invalidating. The invalidating language of 1, 2, and 3 for this 102E date would have this date of 2001-0109. And so that's how you use these, um, these tables uh, to, to prove that you uh, know how to uh, identify um, invalidating language. Of course now the, uh, or the, I should say the SOAR date of invalidating language. Um, 102E, as we know, we have to uh, find a reference that has an earliest um, uh, US filing date before the uh, the invention day of the claim we're trying to invalidate. So we're not talking about the shield or the, the application we're invalidating and we were doing that last week. This week we're looking at what is the earliest affected date the invalidating language in this reference can be used against some other fictitious uh, patent containing claims one through three and that's how we come about those dates um, all right just wanted to talk for a minute about how to fill these fields in um, and so you can answer these six questions for this week's homework dan bell thanks for stopping by i'll see you in class